Hey, what's up, boys and girls? I'm Inezalea from ToleratedCinematics.com, and today, today it's Whatever Wednesdays. We are going to take a look at the clean and slick palette gear to get you connected to your work again. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, before we start this video, I'm quickly going to prepare myself a nice green tea. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good, let's talk about this little thing. You guys might be wondering, what is this alien device? Well, this is the palette gear, a tool to improve and simplify tools within your editing software, such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects, even Google Chrome and Spotify are supported, and many more. I didn't get sponsored to make this video, although I did receive the palette gear for testing, and I'm just in love. Let's talk about why. You get to feel the touch of changing values and effects in your software again, and you can do sensitive adjustments where you just need to narrow down the exposure or anything else. That's just amazing. You get connected to your work. Instead of just pushing stupid buttons and sliding everything around, you can slide adjustments and turn adjustments and click on an actual button. That's just so amazing for me well i don't know why i don't know why that is but i'm really in love with like the classical way of doing things sometimes it just makes it a little bit more mechanical like you're actually touching your edits of course there are many other reasons why i'm in love with this palette gear you are in control of what each button does you can easily change every button and slide to a different function this palette gear allows you full control Apart from that, this device is created modular, so if you buy more pellets later in time, you'll just put them wherever you want and they will snap right in with a magnetic touch. You can easily snap them, just like this, disconnect them, put them somewhere else, now you have a completely new design. <laughs> I feel like a kid again doing this, it's like playing with Legos or something. Pretty cool. <laughs> you can design the palette in whatever way you want. For example, I like to use it as an extension of my own keyboard. Something like a samurai where his sword is an extension of his arm. This palette, that wasn't good. I like to use this as an extension of my own keyboard. Something like a samurai where his sword is an extension of his arm to make him a better warrior. I see it as an extension of my keyboard to make myself a better editor. So if you want to change any of these buttons to a different location, you just snap one right here, let's put this one right here, this one right here, and you just make an alien device. It's, it's so amazing and I don't know why I am this impressed by it, but it seems so futuristic that you have something that's loose and bam, you have it connected and it just works. It's easy. It's awesome. To customize each button and slider, you can open up the Palette Gear software, open the tab of the software you would like to use, and there you will see a representation of the blueprint of your Palette Gear in real life. So where each button is in real life, you will see in the Palette Gear software where that button is located. Then you just click on that button that you would like to redirect to a different function. Choose your function, you have a variety of options, you can do a lot of things. And yeah, just select something, for example, this button. I like to use it as nesting sequences, for example, in Premiere Pro. And you just select that in the functions. Once you hit save, it's done. The thing I really love also is that it's just plug and play. It's like basically no setup. You install a software, you toggle this into your system, change the settings and boom, you're, you're ready to go. Within five minutes, you can do this. Okay, let's take 10 minutes. You can also choose between pre-made presets they have prepared for you. Palette's flagship programs are Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, Premiere. They work directly with the themes of that software for the best experience possible. The Palette Gear will also recognize which software you are currently running of that software or which window is open. 
From the second you switch between software, the Palette Gear is automatically going to recognize that and change profiles accordingly to that software that you are currently using. So if I switch between Photoshop and Premiere, Palette Gear will just switch profiles between Photoshop and Premiere. Basically it. <laughs> Change brush size easily in Photoshop or change the duration of your composition in After Effects with just spinning a button. So how many times I have worked on a project that I decide maybe I need a little bit more space on my composition and I have to go to composition, composition settings, change the duration with just numbers on my numpad and then I have a longer composition. I like to use it as an extension. I just spin the wheel. My composition becomes a little bit longer, I have a little bit more space to work with without doing these extra few steps and okay you will save a few seconds of time but just the immersive feeling that you get while working on this is just really awesome. You can also set the sensitivity for the scroll and the slide tools on this palette uh, so that's also really nice if you need to fine tune adjustments like uh, getting that exposure just right. Sometimes that can be really difficult but you can really toggle in which kind of sensitivity you want there. In Premiere I really love to work with the palette gear to do my color grading with Lumetri Color or changing the opacity, size or positioning of a specific layer. Everything simply goes very smoothly, the buttons are so rigid, it's really quality material in my opinion. And really, I didn't get sponsored to make this video. I'm, I'm just really excited about this because it's like they really care about these editors out there. And it's like you're a part of something, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's go over my profiles and how to select them right now. All right, so here, this is the palette software. And as you can see, we have a few tabs here of each individual software that you run on your system. So right here, I have my Premiere Pro settings. And as you can see, it represents exactly how my palette looks in real life. So I have my buttons around my keyboard. This should be my keyboard right here. And as you can see, this is for the scale of a particular video, the opacity. Uh, then right here we have the uh, video track height that's uh, just to increase the size of the timeline a little bit so I can see uh, it a little bit clearer to see the thumbnails of the video. Uh, same goes for the audio so I can actually see where the spikes are. Really interesting to just um, yeah, be able to spin it right here. Then I have the zoom in and zoom out on the timeline itself. And then my buttons I like to use to swap between profiles. I like to swap between editing profiles and color grading profiles often in my videos. Each time I do a color grade, I like a completely different interface of Premiere. Just uh, so by just clicking on this button, it will immediately change the workspace of Premiere Pro, which is amazingly fast uh, if I can do it like this. Uh, otherwise, you have to go to like Win window, workspaces, select like the workspace you want, or tap uh, on the uh, workspace itself. But if you want to do quick adjustments, it's just an easier way to work around that. Of course, you can uh, also apply multiple tabs dedicated to Premiere. For example, uh, one time you work on this kind of project, the yeah, next time you need more of like uh, using the positioning tools. Uh, you can set up multiple profiles, which you can then right here select uh, for a different kind of profile. So. Um, that is for Premiere. Then Lightroom, I didn't really set up Lightroom yet because I didn't really work in Lightroom until now, but uh, as you can see, I have some uh, basic clarity shadows and highlights, uh, some crop angles and lens distortions, the before and after key, uh, which is also really handy, and the spot removal tool. Then for After Effects, what I like to do is have my sliders right here for the layer opacity, the layer audio levels, and then uh, a preview uh, button right here. And actually, this is not the correct After Effects tab, so we'll close it. Right here, you see another After Effects tab. Let's check that one out. So layer opacity, volume, and then I have a toggle solo for a particular layer that is currently selected. Uh, and then I also have a pre-comp. So if I have multiple layers selected, I can just push this button and that will make a pre-composition of those layers selected. Then uh, right here, the composition duration. So if I uh, spin this button, that will just increase or decrease the composition time. 
scroll layers is also really handy and then adjust selected property so whatever property I have selected in Adobe After Effects if I spin this button uh, I will be able to adjust that and you can of course click on each of those buttons if you want to readjust them and right here you can see After Effects CC mode adjust selected properties you can search right here or open everything and as you can see you have a lot of options that you can actually uh, give to each button so that's really really nice and of course each different software has something different you can also go to the advanced and select the sensitivity of the spin so maybe you want a specific range and uh, that it is able to um, go through then you have the keyboard mode uh, which is going to um, do different kind of bindings the media mode and function switching uh, which will be able to like if you spin it that you switch between uh, Photoshop Premiere and After Effects for example um, yeah that's basically it then we also have it for Google Chrome Spotify and VLC and many more you can just click here on this plus to create a new profile and here you have all the software so uh, for Premiere let's see how many options we have there also for Photoshop we have a bunch of options that we can apply here also each different button is going to have different options so uh, as you can see everything that you have here it's it's just amazing so if you're creative and choosing your buttons you can definitely do something really cool Okay, so that's how to set up your palette gear. It's actually that simple that you don't really need a tutorial on this. You just open up the software, start playing around and you will find your way. That's what I did and yeah, that's it. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more and check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers. Links will be in the description and then I'll see you boys and girls in the next one. Goodbye.